Yo, what up? It's DJ Crowley here from the Simmer Down Radio program, Knoxville, Tennessee. We're still at Cali Roots, man. It's it's so crazy here. The love is amazing. It's open arms. Uh, and uh, I got another one in here, man. Animo, Santa Cruz, what's going on? Man, super stoked to finally see you guys. You know, I work with Roots Musician Records, and uh, you know, Ian has told me, he's like, you need to check out this band, Animo. You know, you check these guys out. What are you guys all about? This is a great question right off the bat. But uh, I guess what we're really about is kind of the style of music we say, you know, play has something to say about uh, the lifestyle we choose to live. You know, Santa Cruz is kind of where, for the most part, we're all from or based our homes out of. And uh, there's kind of a culture in Santa Cruz, that, and that culture is permanent, or prevalent in a lot of different places. And it's kind of about choosing to really live life, you know, not just give into a, give into a system, but you more so just live life. And, and that way you kind of work around, your job ends up working around your lifestyle rather than your lifestyle trying to work around your job, you know. And that's that's kind of prevalent, I think it's a new generation thing where, you know, uh, almost like a we will not succumb, you know what I mean? So, the band kind of all, all lives that way. So that's just part, part of the Santa Cruz vibe, you know, if you're, it's a beautiful place, one of, there's definitely, yeah. But it's it's got that it's got that beautiful place thing going on. That's for sure. <laughs> you know, and speaking of a beautiful place, man, and, and a beautiful track and a beautiful record. Uh, like I said, big ups Ian Roots Musician Records yeah, for sure. Uh, show me yeah. this uh, this morning light. Oh, awesome! Where did this Thank where did so this much. inspiration for this Thank track so come much. from, man? Um, well, two, you know, there's there's two things to it. One is first, generally the way we write music is we write the music first, and the lyrics come second. You know, that way the I don't try to force lyrics onto a song. At first, we just write the music, and over time, lyrics start to form. So that song kind of captured a. Um, it has this feeling of, you know, down but up, right? Like it's kind of hopeful, but it's a little dark. You know, slow, but it's dark, but it's also hopeful. At the time that we were jamming this this music a lot at the bars, um, there's some stuff going on in Santa Cruz. You know, there's a like a school. Um, Kind of, there's a lockdown because uh, there was like the shooting, you know, just just yeah. a bunch of stuff that happens in all these different areas where you're surprised that it happens, you know. It, it kind of just formed that way, and it was about taking the time to uh, appreciate life in the morning and still give thanks, yeah. and kind of you have to push away that dark stuff and remember yeah. to recognize that. So it kind of captured it with what was going on in Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz was it was the first time we had like a cop shot, you know. So it was a really dark time for Santa Cruz. I was almost like, how could this happen here and blah blah, you know, and all that. So the town really felt it for a few days. Um, so it kind of speaks of all those, you know, all those times that we have that stuff around us, small town or big town, yeah. breaking and, free from that, you know. You know, and, and I just want to touch on that because, you know, I, I, I look for reggae music every day, all day, every day. It's my passion, it's my oh, right life, man. Right and, you know, once a month or, or once a couple months or a year or whatever, I'll find a track that I can't stop spinning. And that was one of them. Oh, sure. And so I really, I really wanted to chat about that. Big ups, guys. Hey, guys, if you're just tuning in, you're late, but it's okay. This is uh, DJ Crowley here, uh, sitting here at the Cali Roots Festival 2015 with Animo. And, you know, I don't usually ask this question, but I, do, I don't know what Animo means. Um, originally, that was a nickname for me because I, I used to work in an outdoor school. It was like a nature name. And it was... Uh, my nature name was Animal for taking the kids around, and then they just nicknamed me Animo. And then when I was booking shows in Santa Cruz, I just I was booking bar gigs. I would just call them. I didn't really have a band, you know. I just call my friends and see who wanted to play. So we went by Animo Jams. I didn't know what else to call it because every time we played, there was all this, you know, different players with me. So I kind of just called it Animo Jams. And then uh, later I realized that Animo actually means um, it's kind of like a Latin origin, but it sort of has the same meaning as chi, um, vibrancy or uh, courage. Yeah, livelihood, yeah, yeah. and also also in the Polynesian island, right in Guam, yeah, in Guam it, it has that same, yeah. you know, it has, a, yeah. it has a very old root, and anime, animo, and that means life. Yeah. So it's kind of that. Big yeah. up, big up. Yeah. All right, man. Hey, you know, I know you guys are busy doing the Cali Roots thing. We yeah. got a lot of stuff to do yeah. today, man. Stop Unfortunately, you just killed it. Oh, yeah. Tribal uh, seeds, Cypress Hill, slightly stupid back to back to close yeah. this thing out, Cali man. Which is a movement. Real shout out to the band, real quick. Yeah. They all just misfortune here for this. <laughs> <laughs> we got Bert, Javier, yeah, and yeah. uh, Harvey. We got Ben Lindsay on guitar, Jordan on drums, Kevin on keys, and Mr. Zach Nutty on bass. Word, so I just word. To throw that out there. <laughs> yes. Also, we got an EP coming out, yeah. June 9th, titled Why Not. So if you're if you're into uh, Morning Light, you'll love why, the Why Not track. is a uh, very uh, it's got a lot of very meaningful lyrics to that, so Sweet. Um, so you check it out June 9th. Uh, all the you know iTunes, Pandora, wherever you can check it out. So big ups, guys! All right, 
Yeah, big shout out Knoxville. Yeah, Animo is uh, hanging out with us. You know, the first time I interview people, every time they get the last question, it's, it's a special one, all right? Okay. Everybody yeah. in the scene's done this. Probably one of the band answers. <laughs> what does reggae mean to you? Big ups, big ups for coming in, Animo. Oh, Appreciate it. Well, all music is a culture, you know, so reggae music, the culture represents, was a rebel culture off the island right of Jamaica. It spoke of people being brought over from Africa. And we all just now grew up listening to reggae music, so we've incorporated it as an influence. Um, you know, what we play might be a different kind of Santa Cruz reggae. Um, but you guys know what reggae music means to me. Reggae music to me is a, speaks of a culture that, you know, really came out of Jamaica as a rebellion to what was really going on and reminding people of their roots. So. Big ups, Animo, Santa Cruz, Cali Roots. Big ups, guys. Thank you so much for coming in and hanging out with us. Thank you. We'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you so much.